Hi everyone, Bricknut here. Today we're going to be having a look at Lego City Set 60183 and it is called the Heavy Cargo Transport. Comes with two minifigures, 310 pieces and retails in the UK for $24.99. So, as always, I'm going to start with the figures. We have two figures. We have our female truck driver. I love the baseball cap with the hair mold. That is molded onto the cap, if I take that off. You see, it's part of the baseball cap. I actually like that feature. It's got a nice sort of weight, not a waistcoat. What do they call that? Not a vest. Ah, oh, I can't remember the name. Ooh, we're out of focus. Focus. Thank you. Just a basic jacket pattern on the back no alternative face and our helicopter pilot is here nice light blue jacket minimalistic print on the back again no uh, alternate face and there's his face he's donning a, a bit of a beard there all right, I think I'll start with the helicopter and get the helicopter out of the way. Here it is. It's actually a nice helicopter. I really like this. It's got this chain, just hooks on there out of the way, dangles down, and you can lift things with it. They give you, a, it's, it's called heavy cargo transport, but they give you that little oil can to lift with the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm, yeah. It's quite a nice looking helicopter. And it's a nice build. I um, enjoyed building this. There's the front view. Give you a bird's eye view of it. There was quite a few stickers with this set. There's four on this helicopter. That's a sticker in there. It's got the same on the other side. And of course the usual stickers on the tail fin. The usual propeller for the rotor. Although they've actually mounted it this way. They've used one of those bracket bricks. Plates. And that mount for the, the um, rotor blade. Um, I've never seen that done before. Quite an interesting and different way to do it. Yeah, canopy lifts up. Got the one single control stick in there. Let's go sit the helicopter down. So I'll put our pilot in. Plenty of room with the canopy open. Give him his little stick. There we go, he's ready to fly. Put the chain up out of the way. Spins nicely like they always do. I've not come across a helicopter where this spins badly. Although, surprisingly, they didn't use the um, um, moulded helicopter blade pieces they usually use. It's uh, 1 by 10 plates they've used with a little 1 by 1 round smooth tile on the ends. Suppose, actually, come to think of it, I think the moulded parts would be a little bit too long for this. That may be why they opted for that. And it has got the uh, moulded base for the skis which I haven't seen used for a while. A lot of the other helicopters I've built over the last few years or so have uh, you know, had the brick built landing gear. They haven't used the skis but then again I haven't done a small helicopter like this for a while have they? Not to my knowledge, anyway. Move this over out of the way for the moment. We'll do the trailer next because, whoops, pop the hook off. There's not really a great deal to this. It's a brick built trailer. It's not one of those railway wagon pieces that they, they've used in the past. That's actually quite stiff, which isn't a bad thing. Um, one of the things I like about this set in general, they've used different colour wheel hubs. They've used red ones on this. 
because I don't know about anyone else, but I was quite bored of the same two colours, either white or grey. So it's, to me, it's nice to see that they've bought out these red ones. Probably going to be quite rare, because I think they've only used on this set. There were some older sets they were used on. Um, but for modern sets, I think this is the only one. There's two stickers on the back of the trailer there for the little chevron and the little license plate. So I'm pretty strong and sturdy though, the way it's all built. Sort of like, I don't know what they're actually called, but they've got like the zig, zag, shape, chassis or bracket pieces. Four of them there and two of them on the rear. You can see the bases of them there and there. It's quite a sturdy build. I mean, it's not going to break. Rolls nicely, and because of that straight, uh, that stiff turntable, it actually rolls in relatively a straight line. Now, on for the main part of this set, or one of the main parts. I love this truck. Love the build, love its style. Um, although I think they could have perhaps put some hand tools in there. Like another chain, maybe, maybe a, a mallet or a wrench or something in there. I know they've got the wrench on the side here. But it just seems a bit odd that they've just put an empty basket or an empty crate on the back there. Uh, this has got a number of stickers on it. It's got one of these special transport ones either side. I'll bring this in a bit closer. It's got some nice steps there. I like these pieces. I'm going to take one off. It's like one of these sort of one by two panel piece which actually really do make good effective steps to get in at the cab. You could, I think it would be nice to convert one of these into a um, big heavy duty tow truck. You know, sort of European styled ones with the flat nose like this, not the American ones with the big long nose. Uh, I like the bull bar on the front. There's another sticker, 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 sticker. Same on that side, just a sticker. And on the rear, it's just got that one. So there's a number of stickers. Which of course, you don't have to use. I like to use them because I like to build the sets as they're intended, you know, with the stickers. Um, but I know there's lots of people out there that don't. I know um, Jay Stefford doesn't. Um, I, there has been times when I've not used stickers, believe it or not. But I guess you could call me a purist, you know, the stickers have got to go on. Anyway, <laughs> got these nice exhaust stacks here, which actually clip into place there, as well as press into the Technic brick at the bottom. And a little uh, walkie-talkie there. And, of course, if I take the roof off the cab, I don't know if you can see in there, the obligatory coffee cup. I don't know why, but LEGO has always, nearly always, included a coffee cup with a vehicle like this. Nice um, little transparent pieces on there to simulate side lights or marker lights. It's actually quite a nice, um, nice build, nice truck, nice opening doors. Not really usable, but I still like them because it just adds to the vehicle in my opinion and if you're a city builder like I am you can pose the vehicle better and your vehicle driver if it's got opening and closing doors I just like it, it's just a nice little um, what's the word um, I can't think of the word my mind's gone totally blank feature, that's the word just a nice little feature to me we'll put our lady driver in and I've said it before and I'll say it again, I do like the fact that LEGO are including female figures in the working role, like this young lady here. You know, that's not just primarily male figures like it used to be. So, good on LEGO for doing that. Uh, that doesn't like to stay on there because it's it's only got that 
2x2 tile with one stud in the middle so this, this doesn't like to stay on there that well knocks off quite easily nice hand bars here to hold on to again at the cab usual style of mirrors so all in all I can't actually find anything I dislike about this set to be honest um, I always try, always try with every set I review to see if I can find anything I don't like, but there isn't with this. There's just, I can't fault it. It's um, a very nice set to have, it'd be a nice set to add to a, to a Lego City. Because of its um, commercial side. I mean, you could probably make different mock trailers to transport different things because um, here in Britain and Europe they have a lot of trucks built like this which are designed for real heavy haulage you know like machines that weigh in triple figures in tons and whatnot and sometimes I'd have like three or four trucks like this all hooked up to tow them so um, that's to me that's what it looks like it's based on so you could do a similar thing you could buy multiple of these sets and build up these or um, you know or link them together like I said and have a proper huge horning scene on your city the, the, the options well there's a number of options like I said you could turn that bit lengthen it and turn it into a heavy tow truck So um, I think that covers this set, it's a nice little set, love the black and red colour scheme, but before I go, I've got a very similar set that they did back in 1988, nearly forgot that I wanted to show this, here we go, and this one was called back then the Stunt Copter and Truck. And it was set number 6357. Um, it's very similar in that, you know, you've got your truck, your trailer and helicopter. Same colour scheme. The black, red, yellow and grey. But the helicopter has a different purpose, you know. This one's for heavy lifting. That one's a stunt copter. But I guess they, you know, they're designed to do the same thing, transport helicopters. So, um, I actually like this set as well. It's one of my favourite old sets, this one. Poor thing, it's been on display for quite some time. In fact, I have actually changed the wheels out because they start to go that horrible brownie colour. They're over here, actually. So he has a bit of a tinge to him. Some worse than others. That one's actually not too bad. Nor is that one. That one's a little bit darker. But uh, anyway. Which set do you prefer? Old or new? For me. I can't decide. I actually like both of them. Just as much as each other. Yeah. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I will talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye.